Hello, Abdul Kass here from the Midas Initiative. So how do you cope with the ever-changing technology? As you all know, ChatGPT is out there and uh, ChatGPT 4 is actually coming. What we have now is the Model 3. So there's 4 that is coming and it is going to be insane. People said you can't distinguish it from the human brain. So that's how powerful it is. It is such a powerful tool that even people who use it don't even know the extent of what it can do because I mean I've asked chat GPT so many questions that are very technical for example maybe what's the shortcut to this thing in this particular iOS application think about that and it knows it I've asked um, uh, stuff maybe relating to filmmaking what aperture should I use in this particular stuff and then it actually tells me so um, it is robust but you as the user need to actually know what you're doing because you can actually ask chat gpt to tell you okay i'm trying to fix this ac and there's this issue with this particular compressor what is it and then it's going to give you an idea but if you don't know how to fix ac in the first place how would you even know what to ask for so something like that so uh chat gpt has come and it's not really going to take people's job away even though it will but for people who know what they are doing, I think it is just going to enhance what they do because there is so much to a profession than just prompting something or just, than just writing something. Even if you are a writer, for example, and uh, people feel that, oh, ChatGPT can now write for people. There are human factors that you will bring to the writing that uh, will require a back and forth that only a human being can do even if the human being is going to depend on the same AI technology but there's a place of, for the human being because it takes a writer to know even the kind of prompt to give and it takes also a writer to be able to know if the prompt that is given is going to correspond to the idea that that writer wants to drive but I'm here to talk to you about how to cope with this ever-changing technology and uh, information now we have AI website ai tool ai this and um, much as this is a good thing and it's solution and it's going to help it has also a disadvantage and this disadvantage is the cognitive overload that people are going to have because you now have multiple choice you don't even know what to choose okay which ai does this okay they said this one is this they said this one is this so you find yourself confused because you don't even know okay what website the tools are becoming too much and too many and when you are not prepared, then you'll be overwhelmed by the ever-changing things. So how do you cope with all of this changing information, AI, the tools and everything? Um, one advice I'll give you is a particular kind of learning, which I call principle learning. And I used to give the example principle versus data learning. That is to say, to learn a principle of something is to just understand that it can do something. It's a different kind of learning. It's different from knowing how to do it. It's just like knowing that, okay, uh, I have this camera and it can shoot 4K and this is what 4K means. That's principle learning. It means you know, you know exactly what it can do. Then data learning is where you have to get into the direct how to actually shoot the 4K, something like that. So if you decide that you want to learn data learning or want to learn what everything does, then you have cognitive overload because you'll be confused. You are not really designed to be able to grasp everything. But when you imbibe or you apply the principle learning, what it is is that you are learning what something can do, not necessarily how to do it. By writing what something can do, what that does to you is that it makes you remember whenever there is a situation that requires for that thing to be done. You say, okay, I know that there is this particular website that can do that, even though I have not studied to know how to make that happen. By knowing that, it means you can get to that software or that website or whatever tool it is, and then learn how to do it at that moment, and then you can forget it. The most important thing for you to do is just to know that it can do that. Then for those who want to learn how to make the thing because it is necessary for them, what you need to do or how to apply this same principle kind of uh, learning, you need to have your uh, 
writing material. So as you learn that this can do this, you write it. You are not really learning to memorize, you are learning. It is still like the principle learning. All right, this button does this, this button does this. But you are writing it in your own journal. So the next time you want to do that, you don't need to start thinking how. Because you don't need to put everything in your brain. So you now have a journal. It's like you are now having a journal to help you use the artificial intelligence. Something like that. But that is very, very powerful. With that, what it will do to you is that it will make you know so many things, yet you don't know them. The only thing you know is the fact that you can know them because you have a reference to knowing them. So it's like studying something, but storing it somewhere else. And anytime you want to use that thing, you can always make reference from the place that you store it. All right, uh, go to menu. So it's like having a recipe and you know how to always go find that recipe and produce the meal. So if you work with that recipe kind of mindset, then it is going to make you to actually know how to do many meals as opposed to saying, I must know how to do every meal. No, learn to write the recipes for many different meals and you'll be endless. As a matter of fact, I want to write a program. It's going to be a web based program where it is going to be designed as a recipe so this time around it is going to be a tutorial material but it is going to be a tutorial of how to use something you're going to have menus and sub menus so if you want to do a specific thing in photoshop what you just need to do is go to the website and click on that particular thing and it is going to take you to a small video on what you need to just press and do or even just a simple guideline. Go to menu, go to this and you get that done. So it's going to be a utility tool that you can use to be able to just find your way because there will be many, many more AI tools and it is going to be necessary for you to catch up with the ever-changing technology and inventions and everything. So I hope this has been of value. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.